I'm Dr. Jenna Olson and this is what type of collar to get for a kitten. So the two most important things to consider when you're picking a collar for your kitten is its functionality and whether or not it's safe. So I think safety is something people forget when they're choosing a collar. One of the things that cats need is a quick release collar. So if they're going inside and outside and climbing things, if they should climb something and get stuck, that collar should release. Otherwise, your kitten is at risk for hanging itself and nobody wants to find that. The other thing a cat needs on their collar is a tag. What's the point of having a collar if you don't have your name and your phone number on it? So many cats get brought into our hospital and they have a collar, which is great, but we have no way to contact their owners once we find them. And who knows if they ever get picked up at the shelter. So if you're going to put a collar on your cat, please, please put a tag on it. The other thing you want to make sure is that the collar fits because if it goes on their head and comes right off, there's no point. This collar here, this is exactly what not to do. There's no tag. It's not quick release. It looks nice, but it's completely non-functional. Let's get rid of that. If you're thinking about other collars for your cat, such as a flea collar, you know, there are a lot of varieties out there, a lot of different brands, but in my, in my opinion, based on what, where you live, a lot of flea collars don't actually work. So you can go ahead and try it. It may depend on your region of the country, on whether or not it's going to be effective, but in my opinion, they don't work so hot. And plus, if your cat's out climbing trees, no flea collar is going to be a quick release. So, I'm Dr. Jenna Olson, and this is what type of collar to get for your kitten. Thanks for watching.